Hello everyone. Today we have Dr. Arvind with us. He will be speaking about the aerospace medicine. So to introduce doctor, doctor has done his PhD from Central Biomedical Engineering IIT Delhi. Doctor is a professor and her head of department in a biomedical engineer and a scientist F at the Institute of Aeronautic Medicines. A very warm welcome to you doctor once again and we are excited to have you in our office today. Thank you, Kanika. Thank you for this uh, good introduction that you gave about me and uh, the subject. Of course, we will be seeing uh, what comes up later. Yes. So, Doctor, to start with, what is the career scope about uh, this field in India? See, uh, Kanika, that's a good thing because we are talking about MBBS students who are looking at post graduation options available and what is aerospace medicine and would that career fit into them into their needs so to start with i should say this course is a three-year regular mci and state government recognized md aerospace medicine program which follows all the norms of the regulatory bodies number one second thing this comes under the institute of this is offered by the institute of aerospace medicine indian air force only Okay. And the rules and regulations which are applicable for all defense officers are applicable to the postgraduate students also. Hmm. They are already officers with the Indian Air Force and hence they also have to follow, follow all the rules and regulations of the defense. Okay. okay. Now, coming to the number of seats, there are 10 seats available for this program hmm. across the country and of which seven seats are filled up by the air force and the defense services maybe army and navy we have a naval aviation wing we have an army aviation wing and the air force of course so seven seats are given there only three seats are offered to public okay this is okay. where the rest of the country will compete to get in a seat okay so probably anyone outside the india who wants to come and to learn aerospace medicine is it possible like the seats are very less and uh, if and the opportunity is very big like it's a new topic everyone wants to know about this see these are not in our control this is all decided by the ministry and the government okay so whether a foreign student can come into the course right now for the md co program we have had cases of uh, foreign air force candidates doing this program yes but that needs clearances from the ministry of foreign affairs ministry of defense and the education they'll have to go through a bigger process and that is possible theoretically but then they are they are given what is called as advanced course certificate and not an md course certificate okay. so what is the future of this yeah. See, as the students, the civilian students get into this program, they are into classroom teaching because this whole course is totally different from other clinical or non-clinical or paraclinical subjects. They have to learn about the physics of atmosphere, physics of environment, a little bit of engineering also. So one year they spend in classroom teaching. And it's only in the second and third year they are attached to all the departments and they do the rotation basis. Okay, so after three years, they are post, they have an option of getting selected. In fact, at the entry itself, they get selected as officers in the uh, aerospace medicine uh, field to the Air Force or Navy or uh, this thing, and then they start serving as service officers. Okay, they get the stipend which is allowable as per the state government norms initially and then they start getting their uh, salary package once they finish the course. How much salary they can expect? They can get a salary whatever is applicable to a squadron leader uh, in the air force hmm. or a major in the army okay. which is quite substantial today. So what skill sets a doctor should hold to choose this pathway? See, first of all, a doctor should be analytical. Okay. It is not, he is not dealing with clinical cases much. Mm -hmm. You will see when I discuss more about the uh, field and the areas of uh, aerospace medicine, you will see how it is relevant to have an analytical mind and a mind which is open for technology adoption. Okay, so that is a requirement. There is a huge scope for research, so a research orientation will be very, very essential.
This is an extended branch of occupational medicine and extended branch of applied physiology. So a person who has interests in these things will find it more comfortable to work in this area. Of course, they have their usual clinical subjects and clinical practice when they are posted to Air Force units. They will be managing the Air Force uh, outpatient departments, but that's largely referral kind of a thing. And uh, um, it's not a primary, it's, it's at the primary level and not a tertiary level super specialty there. So what qualification they should hold to choose this field doctor? MBBS as usual. And then they should of course get a good qualifying rank in the NEET PG examination. And the whole ad admission process, selection process that is applicable to any other course, it's common. So doctor, is there any bond which they have to execute before starting the course? Yeah, the students are expected to give a bond for three years compulsory service, failing which they will have to pay some compensation that is decided by the government time to time as it is applicable by the laws. Okay, and I would also want to say that once they join the Air Force, their career is bright. They are already officers and they get anti-grade seniority. So they get to start at a, at a higher level as compared to others, other uh, uh, defense officers. So that is number one. Second thing is they are open to the rules of the defense, which says that officers cannot stay put in the same place for 15 years. They get transferred every three years. So they should be ready for this change or uh, what should I say, this movement regularly. Of course, their life will be comfortable. They are staying in stations which are already manned by more than 2000 people. They have all the facilities of a modern lifestyle with a club and everything that they can think of. But then they will keep have to moving almost every three years. Yeah, we will see more about the course itself and the areas of uh, the course the, that you could, the course would address in the next uh, presentation that I will make. Yes. And that will maybe help you students to make a better informed decision. Thank you so much, Doctor, for such a detailed information about all the things. So uh, the further details will be discussed in the webinar which will be uploaded in our community, Inspire IMG community. So sign in today and watch the full webinar. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.